Alright, so I decided to uh, try a custom mod on this tablet, namely Lineage OS 20. That is like an unofficial mod for this tablet, which is a SMT 510 Galaxy Tab A 10.1 2019. Um, I have the custom ROM I I'm doing what the instructions tell me to do. Right there. Right there. You can see all of it. Right there. Yeah. So, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, unlock the bootloader of this tablet. But before I do that, I have to, like, back up some data again, because I am paranoid as to which this backs up the data, actually, like, all my data being saved, so... I'm, I'm actually very paranoid, so. So yeah, I'm gonna back it up to my gaming laptop so, so that everything is preserved. Okay, here's the part where I um, start to get a little bit worried. Is it even... What the hell, I didn't even... Okay, alright, take two. What does that say? Volume up, yes. Volume down, no. We want to do yes. I just pressed yes. Oh. But, well, it actually reset the data. All right, so start. And I got stuck on this because I uh, OEM unlocked it from the developer, developer options. Now I actually unlocked the bootloader, so there it is. To be honest, I didn't think it was going to be this much of a process, but here we are. Before, yeah, here we are. <coughs> We're actually on my first time so. Alright, it actually did it. Pass. Yeah, I don't care. Team win! Um, all right, what else? Wipe, um, factory reset, reboot. Okay. Oh my God, we actually got lineage OS. Lineage. All right, so it's just it's like almost stock Android on a Samsung. So I am gonna go ahead and do the setup. All right, here's one thing I didn't expect. I didn't expect this to have like a newer Android version, like Android 13. I was expecting it to have like the same version, like Android 11. But here we are. Nice. Hello there. Um, days later. I got the tablet to work, so yep, it is running Android 13. Got a custom wallpaper and stuff. Well, I got a yeah, and uh, got a little theme to it, I guess. Windows 8 theme, I guess, or Windows 10, whatever. Really liked using this tablet. Everything was more smoother than what it was on One UI. And the bit, the biggest thing of this all is that the Android version upgrade. And honestly, it just felt like a new tablet overall. And the fact I can make the tablet a lot more faster than it is, like, so for instance, it has like. PHH travel settings, but as I know right now, I can do a lot of stuff with PHH. Like I can bring back um Samsung features, and um, I think there was one feature I want I, I wanted to look at in this. Whoops, it's like one feature in here. It was probably in the MISC features. Uh, if I can see, it was right here. It says it can de or increase storage speed, which I have it disabled because um. I have a feeling that's gonna actually do something because this tablet felt really sluggish on One UI, so it I've I've had a feeling it will make it faster. IO performance didn't really make much of a difference between disabling fuse and enabling fuse. Here's two tests of the PC mark for Android storage benchmarks with fuse disabled and with it enabled. 
But yeah, using this as an actual tablet, um, really good. But um, playing Roblox on this thing is like kind of sluggish. Yeah, yeah, it's n it's not the best. I'll show you right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the best. It's loading everything, so that could be why. Um, but as you can see, you say it's not that bad, but honestly, you know what? It's actually not too bad. I can get by playing one round with this. This actually felt better than when I was using One UI because One UI would be more sluggish, and therefore the games lagged more. You know what? Yeah, I could get a, a I could get around with this tsunami. And yes, I have the graphics quality set to the minimum, the lowest, so I can't really see anything just yet. Now I can see the tsunami. If I did turn it up bit more then I can definitely see it from afar but let me make this landing I made it I made it nice the arch didn't make it though oh crap yep the tsunami is gone and I survived. Nice. Experience overall has been great. I like the experience because it wasn't sluggish most of the time, unlike when I was using One UI on this device. It was like running One UI. I forgot the One UI version. It was probably One UI 3 because it was like Android 11. But yeah, it was Android 11. But in most of the time, it would just run sluggish. Yeah, you know what? Overall, it was great. I didn't experience much sluggish or any sluggish at all, probably. Yeah, it's just really great to put on this device. Like... If you want to uh, make this uh, tablet of yours less sluggish that I'm using right now, you could do that right in the description. I'm using that. So, yeah, great stuff to use on a tablet like this because it made my uh, tablet uh, more usable. So, that's something. And also, don't forget to back up everything. So, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, share, and stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.